I've always looked at Earl Eaton as being the unsung hero of the Vale Valley. Although he was here all this time, nobody really knows that without Earl's insight and understanding about the real potential of Vale Mountain, this wouldn't exist because nobody else knew what Earl knew, that this was going to be and could be the greatest ski area in the world. After there long, you could see what skiing was doing for Aspen and Pitkin County. And since I was born and raised in Eagle County, I thought if I could get skiing in Eagle County, that would sure help out the county. Earl Eaton contributed so much to the early days of Vail, the building of Vail Mountain and so on. He had an ability to plan, to organize his people, people were working for him, and uh, get them behind him. And he, he wasn't one to jump around and uh, get excited about things. He thought things through very carefully and persevered. That was his strong suit. After you get to know Earl and get inside of him, then you can see that he, he had an awful lot of ability, had a lot of savvy and knowledge. But it, was, it took a little time because he was very quiet and reserved. I first got to know Earl in the early 60s. I was on the packing crew, and in those days, you know, you packed snow with your feet and with a shovel. And Earl had two pieces of machinery. One was an old army weasel and the other was a Christie cat. And he was bound and determined that we were going to be packing and grooming the slopes in the future using machinery. Now in those days, that was pretty wild. Of course, then you know Earl. He was pretty much fun in those days too. 